Next, we wanted to find out if there was any scientific explanation for the energy work of Qigong. While in San Francisco, we talk with architectural physicist John Arava. First of all, everything is energy. And how you differentiate a tree from a sidewalk, from ourselves, are the patterns of the energy. And if you change a pattern of energy, uh, as they can do at Argonne Labs, Fermi Labs, some of the nuclear facilities, you can actually change an element. So it's been proven that everything is energy. Everything is connected. And energy influences energy. That's how you get, uh, in the old television sets, you get the dot to move across a screen to form a picture because one energy field is influencing another energy field. And um, about 40% of the food you eat and the air you breathe is converted into electrical activity in the body. So you have a bioelectric field and you are able to um, see this energy. If you are exposed to other energy fields, you can actually see uh, the field that you generate. And uh, it gets into a lot of other areas. Uh, for a period of time, I was a consultant to the uh, Pentagon on this type of stuff. And um, so uh, what she's doing is very, very real. This is a fact. And um, as Effie was doing demonstrations and others are able to do it, you can actually drain a person of energy where they notice that they are weak and there is no explanation. And um, if it weren't that way, um, medical instruments wouldn't work because they measure your energy field. When you're having an EKG done, it's measuring your energy field generated, you know, electric field, electromagnetic fields. So that's actually verification that that's how it works. Very little research into Qigong can be found in the West, but extensive studies are being conducted by international author, physicist, and research professor, Dr. Konstantin Karatkov of Leningrad, Russia. Dr. Karatkov used his instruments to measure the energy field. Instead of Dr. Chow, her energy field is one of the strongest I have ever seen in practice. Professor Emeritus Rustam Roy is a Ph.D. alumnus of Penn State who's been on its faculty for 60 years. He founded Penn State's Materials Research Laboratory and Science, Technology, and Society programs. He is one of the world's leading material scientists. He has received more high honors from his peers around the world than anyone else in Penn State's history. And we at Penn State put on a conference with 500 people from all over the world, and we said, can this be true? Well, we established the facts that these are true. That these facts that people can do this, it's true. We looked at other things where we said, can Qigong achieve such breakthroughs as far as Western medicine is concerned? And yes, we found case after case. So, She's worked with very senior people in the country, helping them regain consciousness from given up for dead. And she has literally, personally demonstrated the most remarkable healing vectors emanating at the human intention plane. That is the words we use, human intention. Effie Chow radiates a human healing intention. And it really works. You're watching the American Health Journal presents Discoveries in Alternative Medicine.